All right, so this is how it's going to work. The first thing we need to know is that we need to detect when the counter starts from the first time, okay? To create the interval, all right? Then we need to detect when the counter gets stopped to stop the interval, all right? So before we do that, I'm gonna console log all our props. So I want you guys to see what's going on. And I'm going to talk about a life cycle method of React components that is called component will receive props. Component will receive props. Component will receive props gets called every time the component will get new props. So before this happens, it, React is gonna call this uh, function. And this function gives us a very nice next props argument called next props. So I'm going to create a variable called current props, which means this props, and I'm going to console log. I wanna say the current, the current props are current props and the new ones are next props. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna go to my Google Chrome. I will refresh. What the fuck, man? Here, refresh on my simulator. I know this error, man, this error is weird. I'm going to cancel this bullshit, all right. And on my simulator, after these refreshes, I should see the previous props and the new props, all right? So we'll, let's do it. Simulator, 85, 90, <clears throat> 100, let's go. All right, so here our component hasn't received props because it just mounted, all right? Let's try to click. The current props are, fuck, it doesn't show me there. But it says the current props are and the new ones are. So I'm gonna change this because current props that uh, is playing. Next props is playing. Okay, let's do it again. All right. So the current props are true and the new ones are false. All right, so right now, is playing is on false, as you can see. So if I press here, it should say that the current props are false and the new ones are true. Because the current state is false and the new ones are going to come is, is playing true. So the current props are false because before is playing was false. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this message a little bit better for you. The current uh, is playing is and the new is playing is. That's much better for us. So I'm gonna stop. The current is playing is true. The new is playing is false. And look at the new is playing. The new is playing is false. Now if I click, the current one was false and now the new one is true. So this is what we want to detect, all right? Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna say current props and next props. I'm going to say if, all right, if the current props is playing, right, is false. This means that if the player is stopped and the next props is playing is true, and here I'm gonna start the counter. So I start the interval, all right? And here, else if, if the current props is playing true and the next ones are going to come says that is playing is false, all right? If you don't know what this means, this just means false, all right? The negation, okay? So this is false. Let's do it better so you guys don't get lost. If current props is playing equals false, 
all right? If current props is playing false and the new ones that are coming are true, start the interval because this means that we just started the interval, all right? And here, else if, if current props are playing, all right, and next props not playing, if we are going to stop it, if we're going to stop it, so if next props falls, all right, here we're going to stop the interval. Okay, so let's test it. Console log shoot and here start shoot stop. Okay, in a simulator, if I click stop, what should stop? Yes, it did stop it. Play should start. Yes, it did start. As you can see here, it's working again. Should stop, should start. So it is working. All right. Beautiful. How much time are we on? All right, five more minutes. We are good. So let's create the interval, shall we? So I'm going to say here, const timer interval. And I'm going to assign it set interval. And what am I gonna do? I'm going to say current props, because is the ones that I have right now. And which props I'm gonna talk about, the, which props? at second, yeah. So current props at second. How often? Well, every second. Lovely. Else if, sorry, yeah, else if I'm going to clear the interval. But right now I don't have access to this, all right? Because this only happens once. So I need to say, I need to save this on the state. All right, so now I will save my interval on the state. So on my clear interval, I can say clear interval this state timer interval. All right, awesome. Now, because I hate this, I'm just gonna say this. By the way, this is the same as doing this, okay? False, the negation. And this is the same as saying true. And I'm going to remove this also. And I'm going to negate this. All right. So if it was stopped and now we're gonna start it, I'm going to create an interval that is going to execute this action into the reducer at second. This means at second, this means apply at second, this means here, we're going to create one more every every second. And I'm going to save this uh, timer interval in my state. So later, if I'm gonna stop it, I'm going to clear the interval so I can stop it. And I'm gonna save and let's do it. I'm going to refresh and I'm going to open my console here in my simulator, and I should see the number increasing all the time. Let's see. Waiting. How much time How we, do we have? Nine minutes, all right. Here we go. What the? <laughs> it, go, it went to 102. All right, there you go. Come on, man. Let's do it. All right, so it's playing false. Elapsed time zero, time duration 1,500. Let's play. Stop it. So every second, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now went back to zero, all right? Because we just did it. We just stopped the timer. And what happens when we execute stop? Hmm? What happens when we execute stop? When we execute stop, it says restart. So elapsed time goes back to zero and it's playing false. And here elapsed time back to zero and it's playing false. So it is working. Awesome. 
Whew, that was long. All right, on the next video, I am going to show you how we can actually, um, we're going to check if this is working. We're going to try to make this work. So we're going to make the timer shorter to see if what happens when the elapsed time and the duration come together. And then we are going, to, I'm going to teach you how to format this thing. So now we can subtract from 25. So see you later.